In this video, I'm going to teach you three Rock the Baby style tricks. Uh, these are classic tricks, and even though they were popular once upon a time, they haven't been done in a while, at least not that often, and so you may have never seen these before, but I think they're really great, so I wanted to bring them back and teach them to you right now. So the first one is called the swing set, uh, but you could actually call it uh, a baby swing because it kind of looks like how baby swings look today. That trick looks like this. All right, so if you want to learn this trick, just like any picture trick, it's going to be easier if you just stop the yo-yo and let it hang down at the bottom of the string, then you're not pressured by you know, trying to finish the trick while it's spinning. Uh, the first thing you want to do is take your first finger of your opposite hand and you're going to hook the string. Make sure you come in front of the string to hook it. Then you are going to pinch the string in between your thumb and your yo-yo finger. And make sure when you pinch the string, you pinch it right where the string is attached to your yo-yo finger. That'll create this V shape. Uh, if you pinch it too far out, the strings will be a little bit more parallel and that won't look quite as good for this trick. So make sure you pinch it just like that. Next, you're gonna take your pinky and you're gonna hook the string in the same way you did with your first finger. And uh, when you do this, if you raise your pinky up too much, you can see one leg will be too long. If you drop it down too far, one leg will be too short. Ideally, you want the legs to be about equal length or close, and then you're gonna do the same thing you did before. You're gonna pinch the string in between your thumb and your yo-yo finger. And again, pinch it right where the string is touching your yo-yo finger. Just like that, now we've got those two V shapes, and then just like Rock the Baby, put your hand right under the yo-yo, and you can rock it through. So let me show you that again from a different angle, and that'll kind of help clarify everything that's going on in this particular trick. To start, you want to take your opposite hand and hook the string, just like this, from the front. And then you are going to take your yo-yo hand, and you want to pinch the string between your thumb and your middle finger, and make sure that you pinch it right where the string connects with your yo-yo finger, just like that, to create that V shape. Then you want to take your pinky and you're going to hook the string again from the front just like you did before. Make sure you even out those legs as best you can. And then you're going to come down here with your yo-yo hand and pinch the string one more time. Make sure the string connects with the string you have already pinched just like that. Then all you're going to do is just like in regular Rock the Baby, put your hand beneath the yo-yo and rock it through. The second Rock the Baby variation I want to show you, uh, it used to be called dual custody. We like to call it Rich Kid because it involves rocking one baby through multiple cradles, two in this case, at once. And that trick looks like this. So your two cradles and then you kind of rotate the cradle as you rock the baby through, just like that. So again, if you want to learn this trick, uh, just drop the yo-yo down and I'll walk you through it. The first thing that you want to do is you want to put your thumb and first finger of your opposite hand together and bring the string right over top of it. Again, you can pull in from the front just like this. And then you want to pinch the string uh, between your uh, yo-yo finger and thumb or between your first finger and your thumb. Uh, both will work. And then you want to take your, the three remaining fingers that are outside the string and instead of hooking the string like we've done uh, with these last few tricks, you actually want to come in between your body and the string like this and you want to lift the string up. And when you do this, one thing that is critical if you want the trick to look right is you want to pinch the string between your middle finger and your first finger right where the string is touching your first finger in this first uh, triangle that you've made, just like that. And that'll help things line up a little bit better so the trick looks better. And then again, just lift the rest of the strings up with your other fingers and then you're gonna come down here and pinch the string again. And if you spread out your uh, thumb and then your pinky, you can see you've got these two cradles right here. And then like I showed you before, when you rock it, uh, you're not actually keeping the cradle still and rocking the yo-yo back and forth. You're gonna rock the baby straight each time and you are just going to turn the cradle just like this, all right? So let's look at that trick again from a different angle. And uh, again, I think that'll help clarify a couple of things. To start, you are going to bring your thumb and your first finger together on your opposite hand and then push those into the string from the front just like that and lay the string right over your thumb and first finger. Then you wanna pinch the string with your yo-yo hand. I usually pinch it in between my thumb and my first finger just like this. Then you wanna take these three fingers that are not in this cradle you already made and bring them underneath the cradle just like this and you are going to push them into the string Again, it's not like the hooking we've done before from the front. We're gonna push in from the back, uh, from the side closest to you. 
And as you do that, you're going to pinch these two strings together in between your uh, first finger and your middle finger on your opposite hand so that they touch, just like that. And then uh, you're going to bring the cradle down so that the rest of the strings fall right on those fingers right there because that forms your second cradle. Then you are going to uh, pinch the string at the top just like this, the same way you did before. And then you're going to rotate around and uh, bring your hand underneath the cradle just like this, spreading out your thumb and your pinky to make your two cradles. And then you rotate the cradles as you rock the yo-yo through just like that. The third classic Rock the Baby variation is called Alien Baby, and that looks like this. So Alien Baby, as you can see, is just the trick UFO done inside of Rock the Baby. Now we do have other videos that teach those tricks in more detail, but I'll teach them to you real quick right here, and then I'll give you some tips on making this trick look as good as possible. So the first thing, obviously, is you have to perform Rock the Baby. To do that, again, just get a good sleeper. You're going to grab the string right about in the middle with your opposite hand, pinch the string a couple inches above the yo-yo with your yo-yo hand, and then bring your opposite hand underneath the yo-yo and point your fingers forward, and that is Rock the Baby. Again, if you'd like some more detail on that or a little more help, we have another video on that. Uh, for UFO, all you're really doing is throwing a very powerful sleeper while the yo-yo is crooked. You're going to throw it across your body just like this. If you pick the yo-yo up, you'll see that it'll level out and start to UFO. Again, all you're going to do is put those two things together. Now, when you put the two tricks together, what, uh, what you're going to find is that UFO does the same thing in this trick that it does in other tricks. If you're right-handed, that means it's going to loosen the string pretty quickly. If you're left-handed, it's going to tighten the string. So what you want to do before you actually perform the trick is you want to prepare the string to allow for that loosening or tightening, depending on which hand you are. So you can do that with um, any number of string tension variations. Uh, we've taught these in other videos. You could do the sidewinder, just like that. You could also do a UFO in the opposite direction. And if you have another type of string tension method that you like, uh, you could use that as well. So once you have your string properly tightened, again, if you're right-handed, loosened if you're left-handed, then you can do the trick. Now, another thing uh, that I like to do when I perform this trick is instead of throwing right into a UFO and then building the Rock the Baby while the yo-yo is UFOing, if that's a word, uh, what I like to do is I like to just have it angled a little bit because, you know, it, it levels itself out. So if you throw it just right, you'll have just enough time to build your cradle while the yo-yo is starting to level out. And then as soon as it levels out, you can rock it through and get it back to your hand. Now, one more thing that you may not have noticed that I do when I perform this trick is I actually hold the cradle back when the yo-yo starts to UFO. And that's because uh, when it first starts to spin on its side, it loses control a little bit and it can go side to side. It can actually bump into the side of the cradle when that happens. And since it's spinning sideways, it'll wrap around those strings pretty quickly. And you don't want that to happen because that can get you into a knot. So what I suggest you do is just hold the cradle back a little bit, wait for the UFO to settle, which won't take very long, and then just rock it through and bring it back out. Uh, again, you want to make sure to tighten your string before you do this. So again, get it angled, hold the cradle back, rock it through. And the last thing that you'll probably notice is when I get the yo-yo out of the cradle, you want to toss it forward just a little bit. That will create some distance between you and the string, and then you can just stick your hand out and the yo-yo will return right to your hand. So that is the third classic Rock the Baby variation. Uh, learn them, show them to your friends. I think all of these are pretty impressive, and uh, hopefully now that I've taught them to you, they won't be forgotten and we'll start to see them a little bit more than we used to.